Oh yeah, YouTube. Tarry Loon here. Should like it, eh? Right, just back for the rigs and holy smoke, what is going on? This coronavirus is nuts. I says to the missus, let's go to Corsico. We'll go shopping, the, the posh bit. Um, not because I'm panic buying. Uh, let's get that right. Just because I've been offshore for three weeks and I've had like mints every day. So I fancied a change. So we get in there. Oh, the shelves is empty. And God, what the... There's people walking about, right? We 18, 18 toilet rolls under each arm and a trolley full of hand sanitizer and soap. Now, it's clean and it's clean, but they're taking a the piss. Anyway, I says to the missus, right, Jack, let's, let's go. So we went down to the beach, doing home bargains, nice, decent shop, home bargains. And it was the same down there. All the shelves were empty. Well, mainly it was just the drink shelf that was empty. I was people wondering about it, right, with two bottles of vodka under each arm gone. Happy days, two weeks in the sick, full pay for the government. <laughs> See, that's the attitude to have. So, uh, <laughs> moving on, uh, today's problem comes from um, a lad over in Ireland, Ronan Jordan. And Ronan wrote in to say, Dear Tori Loon, please help. My daughter keeps sticking me in with a wife. She keeps grassing up and saying that I'm lazy and I'm not pulling my weight around the house. What should I do? So, I gave his daughter a call, a little Anne, uh, and this is what she had to say. He thinks he gets his own way and everything. He thinks that he can he can go on his phone and he thinks that I, he doesn't have to spend time with me and he thinks that he pretends he's cleaning when you're gone. And he doesn't really clean. He come, I go into the kitchen because I'm hungry and then he's on his phone and says, I'm cleaning. I said, no you're not, you're on your phone. And like, seriously, guys, do you believe me? So Ronan, what you're trying to do here is try to get a six-year-old girl to keep a secret. And um, that's never going to happen. Um, try it every birthday. Um, don't tell your mum it's in the cupboard. Mum walks in the door. Mum, look what's in the cupboard. So that's not going to happen. Okay, you could try blackmail. Um, now this could be quite expensive. Not if you've got little boys because all they want is a football or a pack of football cards or something. Uh, girls tend to go towards the pony uh, and that's about two grand. So blackmail is probably not the best option. Best option probably is just clean up around the house. Honest to God, it just make your life so much easier just to do it. So she wants to go to the pub. Uh, now, you have to be older than six. I am absolutely just six. Six and a half. I'm not allowed to go to the pub. Well, six and a half, that's, I'm really meaning like 18. Um, why did he not let me just go for one night? Oh, what about if other kids are going? Please, I just for one night. One night and I won't go to the bingo anymore. I'm six and my old mother won't let me go to the pub. Okay, Ron, you do not want to take your six-year-old daughter to the pub. The reason for this, she will crash you up even worse than she did about the clean. And when you go home to the missus and say, yeah, I just had a couple. No, Daddy had six. Uh, Daddy was talking to the barmaid. She's got big boobs. This could all go horribly wrong. Um, go with the bribe and just buy the pony and go to the pub yourself. This is Torilun signing out on the old YouTube channel. See you later.